Hello and welcome to this quick look at this wonderful book that I found, Stargazing for Beginners, The Practical Guide to Astronomy. Although this book does say it's for beginners, I have to say, and I think it is really for all skill levels, it is really quite detailed, as we'll go into in a few minutes. A complete introduction to observing and understanding the night sky, this book takes you from the very basics of stargazing through to the skills that you need to become an accomplished amateur astronomer. The book gives a good overview of the planets and the solar system and then goes into further detail later in the book of all the different planets. Uh, like This one here for Jupiter for instance uh, does go into a lot of detail and gives you a lot of good information about Jupiter and the rest of the planets as the book goes on. It also covers binoculars, or bins, as some people call them, um, and again goes into a lot of detail of the basic designs of um, various different types of binoculars and also how to use them. Then moves on to uh, things like um, telescopes and the types of telescopes that, uh, that there are, and the optics, how to use those as well. So it's, uh, it is in quite good detail. The book also briefly covers uh, astro imaging as well and ways that you can uh, take images of the things that you're looking at through your telescope. Also included are a number of equatorial sky charts. This is my favourite part of the book where it talks about the deep sky objects and the different things that you can find uh, within the night sky. Uh, it certainly details a lot of information in terms of what you'd be able to see and the, uh, the size of them. Uh, also included as well uh, with this book is a monthly sky guide as seen here. Uh, that is really handy. And then we're on to the last part of the book, which is the reference tables. And the tables listed here provide detailed information about the celestial bodies of the solar system. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all in there and um, it's very, very well laid out. In conclusion, I think the book is fantastic. And as I said before, it's... Um, it makes great reading for beginners all the way through to, uh, well, I wouldn't say experts, but it's certainly something that is great to have on the shelf and, you know, as a reference guide. Um, at 256 pages, it's, uh, it's certainly not uh, light reading, but you're not really going to read this kind of book from cover to cover. You'd mostly use it for, uh, for referencing and for uh, getting information from it. But I would highly recommend this book I'll certainly leave links in the description as to where you can purchase it. Thanks for watching.